snow peas, broccoli, and mushroom. And look at this crab rangoon that we made, my mom and I made. And this another Lotus Delight, Lotus Delight. Look at this. You guys are in luck because my mom is going to show us how to make traditional crab rangoon just like the old restaurant days so the ingredients we need are two of these cream cheese purchase your favorite brand i think we got these from aldi pretty affordable it's regular cream cheese okay it will work and blend it with cream two eight ounce bars and then we have some of these one ton skin mom do you freeze it I think if you freeze it, freezing. yeah, if you freeze it, it's easier to work with. Otherwise, it'll be sticky. See, it's just regular one ton skin you can buy from uh, Costco or Asian grocery stores. And of course, one of this must have ingredients. I think some restaurants will even put this in here. I, I'm not even sure Panda Express even put these in here. Soy cream. Because this is the imitation crab. Okay. I think this was like two forty nine. All right, so sixteen yeah. ounce. So what we want to do is just put the two bars of the cream cheese into a container. Stupid me. At first I say it's optional. No, how can it be crab rangoon without any crab, right? So it doesn't matter if it's real or imitation. Of course, if you if it's real crab, it will not be <laughs> the prices you see from the restaurants. Okay, so my mom just cutting it up. Into small pieces. Jeez. Notice how my mom is carefully cutting it, using the knuckles to guide the knife so it doesn't go past it. If you use this method, you will never cut yourself. It's a trick they use from the restaurant days. Okay, mom's chopping them up, just smaller pieces. The smaller, the better. So you have a good mouthful of crab with the cream cheese. Okay, mix it in with the cream cheese. Wow, it's looking good already. It's already starting to smell like crab rangoon, guys. Okay, one scoop of sugar. Okay, we're trying to eat less salt, so half a scoop of salt. Actually, we didn't use the full amount of sugar because I thought it would be too sweet. Now we're just going to have to do manual labor and blend it in real good. This is something you can't, yeah. you can't use a uh, blender because uh, you don't want it after BBC to be like turned into a smoothie. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. This is our secret ingredient, all right? Just for you guys. Sesame oil. And a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah. Personally, I think I would put some sriracha. A little bit of, uh, I think this is called white pepper or black pepper, whatever you choose. I guess technically you could use one of the mixer, but my mom said it's a pain to wash the mixer. So just manual labor. This is good exercise also. Get your calories uh, workout in, right? Cal burn your calories. Train your hand to be stronger. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, mom, show us how you make it. Oh, wow, look at Shira has to prepare. You see how beautiful this is? This is perfection. Many years experience right here. Let me go over here. You, what you want to do is big, get a large scoop. We're just using simple water. You don't have to use egg. See how you fold it? See the four corners? Fold it towards the middle, and then you're going to stick. Make sure it's, there's no um, slits open. Keep on pressing in the middle. And there you have a perfect leak made crab rangoon. Just make sure there's no filling that escapes there, see? So once again, a nice scoop, nice big scoop. You see how air flavoring? This is the texture you're looking for, see? It almost looks like uh, ice cream. Wet cream all cheese. around it. Squeeze the sides, four corners, all right? Squeeze the middle twice. Make sure enough, there are no slits open, and there you have it. Perfect crab rangoon. Simple as that. Hey, mom, what are you doing? <laughs> this looks like a frog. I've never seen this style. Show us how you do this style. 
Show us how you do that. A frog style. Oh, so you want to fold into a triangle? Okay. Triangle. And then fold up the legs. Oh, so it looks like a frog. See? Yeah. There you have it. So it looks like a frog. I still like the traditional crayon, but I think this is easier to fold. See? These take a little bit more skill and a little bit longer. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at this whole plate platter of crab rangoons different style two different ways of folding it my dad and my mom helped it out let's go ahead and fry this up but what are you doing over here mom okay i see some oil what kind of oil is this mom vegetable oil canola oil something like this what are you preparing this is a secret recipe right here what my mom is doing is frying the fat from the pork uh, from the beef roast you know the natural fat, the natural oil. That is a secret ingredient right there. Yes, sir, that is that flavor. All right, see my mom is frying up a batch right here. Okay, so that's the texture we're looking for. Let me try one, mom. See, I like that one, it looks like crispy. This one has to cool down a little bit, then I'm gonna bite into it. Wait until you guys hear that crisp. Mmm, look at how creamy that is. Look at all these ingredients. Mm. A lot of cream cheese. Woo! It's delicious, man. Woo! It's hot. Okay, my mom is putting in a new batch, see? Just carefully put it in there. Here's how you handle oil. Just carefully put it in there and you won't be sprayed with hot oil. Don't throw it in there, otherwise it will splash. Usually it takes about, I would say about three, three to four minutes. Basically you just want to look for crispy texture. If you like it darker, fry it longer. But with cream cheese and the crab, it's not like stuff that's like super raw. So you don't have to worry about it being, you know, uh, undercooked. need to count mom I already estimated there's about there are about 70 crab and goose right here good job mom I'm sure everybody's gonna be very happy with the delicious crab and goose way tastier than Panda Express mom look over here happy new year